The Beaches Podcast is going to give you everything you want to know about a beach before you go there. I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to check out our website, www.sandee.com. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Okay, so we've got a good one for today's deep dive. Oh, yeah. You ready for this? Someone's asking for a very detailed outline okay. of Tennessee beach vacations. Wait, beaches yeah. in Tennessee? That's what I thought. Beaches in Tennessee. That's like asking for like ski resorts in Florida. You know what I mean? Exactly. But here's the thing. They're serious. They want legality, nah. details, best locations. Really? Yeah. It's like they've got this whole vision, right? Like They're picturing themselves carefree, mm. maybe even, you know, clothing optional. Oh, wow. On these Tennessee beaches that don't quite exist. Well, at least not legally, I'm pretty sure on that one. Exactly. Yeah. But then, and this is the part that throws me, right alongside this whole beach fantasy, they mention music, mountains, and whiskey. Classic Tennessee right there. Right. So part of me is thinking, are they onto something? Maybe this isn't about actual beaches, but about the feeling, the vibe. That scape, yeah. Exactly. So maybe our deep dive today is less about sand and surf, more about reframing reimagining what a Tennessee beach vacation could really be. What do you think? I'm in. Because you're right. No ocean doesn't mean no fun. Mm. And Tennessee's got its own kind of magic. Right. So let's swap out those mental images. Okay. Instead of the Atlantic, we're talking lakes. Tons of them. Oh, yeah. Tennessee's got lakes for days. And rivers, too. Don't forget the rivers. All right. So picture this. You're floating down the Hawassi River. Sun's out. Maybe a little bluegrass playing in the background. Oh, now you're talking. Right. Or how about a cabin nestled in the woods right on the shore of, say, Norris Lake? Speaking of Norris, did you know it's shoreline? It's over 800 miles. Wait, seriously? Yeah. That beats the entire California coast. No way. You're blowing my mind right now. 800 miles of shoreline. Huh. Okay. That changes things. Right. So even if, you know, those clothing optional aspirations might need a reality check legality wise right right you could still find some pretty secluded coves on all that shoreline that's true privacy nature maybe a little skinny dipping if you're feeling adventurous and the park ranger isn't around hey i'm not endorsing anything just saying there are options exactly and let's not forget that music scene right instead of beach bonfires we're talking beale street live blues that electric memphis vibe oh and nashville can't forget nashville the bluebird cafe those intimate gigs hearing songwriters pour their hearts out see now that's a vacation soundtrack trading the crashing waves for a slide guitar i'll take it and what about those mountains they mentioned forget boardwalks we're talking hiking trails those misty smoky mountains views from Klingman's dome that'll take your breath away See, it's a different kind of beauty, a different pace, but that Tennessee hospitality, that slower pace of life, that's relaxing in itself. Absolutely. So to our listener out there dreaming of those Tennessee beaches, think about what really matters. You know, what's at the heart of that beach vacation fantasy? Yeah. Is it the ocean itself or the feeling, the escape? Because Tennessee... It might just surprise you. It's got its own brand of relaxation, its own kind of adventure. It's about being open to something different, trading those expected beach vibes for something totally unique, something it's Tennessee. Just, yeah. Who knows? You might trade those ocean views for a mountain vista and find yourself loving every minute of it. Thanks for listening to the show and be sure to tune in next week for your favorite episode about some of the best beaches and beach information in the world.